He goes out and he tells Storm, I, I think I just lost the greatest thing to ever happen to me. What are you on The Bachelor? Shut up. <laughs> Stop talking <laughs> like this. Who, why are you using these words? Welcome aboard another brand spanking new episode of Another Below Deck Podcast. My name is Dylan. I'm saddled up next to one real Nicholas Davis. Ahoy, mateys. And Foley artist over there, Pat Hickey, just cracked his can of malt liquor. Permission to come aboard. Uh, big episode tonight. Lots Permission grand. Mm-hmm. of Dave and Natasha stuff. Kind of yuck. Are you but, doing you know, it? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just... Yesterday. I'm just amuse bushing, okay? Just let me amuse bush a little bit. Mm. You fucked up the amuse bush. Let's talk about public service announcements. Do we have any floors, your guys? I was just going to thank the audience. Uh, I've been uh, informed that the numbers are up. They're yes. skyrocketing. We are growing. Thank you. Uh, if you're a new listener, thanks for checking us out. But don't forget to share the program with your friends. Yeah, the show's growing. We can't thank you enough. Tell your friends. Tell your families. If you want to hear more of us, we do The Bachelor. And we have a, a general show called Another Podcast Show. If you want to hear us gab and goof about things other than reality tv also housewives what a season mm, patreon.com slash another podcast network hmm. all right let's get That's into it it's pretty tidy uh pots knots i want to say that this episode was absolutely incredible and i want to start with storms then journey. say it storms man journey on this episode fucking baller oh. okay <laughs> he uh he gets the most beautiful girl in the world he got promoted to his dream job forgot about that part yeah he got a little smoochy at the end of the night okay and uh his uh, that already and i thought that was real fun is is the word uh duality uh, uh is that that, Di- that is a word me, yeah. is it, yeah, tell me if i'm properly using it by then you see poor dave's journey by Damn. then you see yes and just the two, uh, the, the, the two journeys simultaneously. Yes. One on cloud nine. One on cloud and, one, yeah. And the other in the deep trenches of despair. Right, right, right. Oh, so fun to watch. Loved it. And you call me crazy, but um, I'm starting to like that Sandy character. The way that she handled uh, that Dave situation, that was top-notch management stuff right there. You way to go, Sandy. I hope you're listening. 100 knots. You have so many thoughts. <laughs> God. I like having Pat go first because you really crystallize them. But then you stepped on the ones that you just crystallized. But I can't really fault you because I wouldn't have crystallized them had you not said what you said. But right. then, yeah, I just wish you would have stopped at one point. First off, I, first question, Nick. Did I use the word duality, duality correctly? You did. We and confirmed it, that. Yeah, you had that right. And I'll even take it a step further. It wasn't just the duality between Dave and Although, you know Storm. What? It was the duality between Natalia and... Uh, the, the, the couples yeah, as the couples. a whole it just shows how you're if you're going to come on the show how you do it right and how you do it wrong uh you don't come in with baggage uh who's gonna <laughs> who's gonna tie you down and ruin your fun don't do that come in free if you find someone you find someone and work hard and have a good time it's it, it, it is great below deck uh the duality of bd 92 knots. Solid advice. I don't advice. think you used duality All right, we correctly. Not, we need to talk According about it. to Google, it. it's a song by Slipknot. Oh. Um, but also, I think I wonder it's, what that sounds like. I, I, <laughs> don't don't do uh, what, don't do what it's duality. gonna <laughs> sound like. <though. laughs> One no, time no. the white claw helps. It's like really throat farting. Right. Hey Nick, yeah, Nick, you super you super misophonic. Yeah. Relationships that st- have already begun and then find their way on this boat never work. Malia and that little prick, uh, they they didn't get along on on their journey. Are when you talking about Tom? Tom. Tom was a complete asshole, Dylan. He's like, I know you're trying to sleep, but would you mind giving me a hand job? Oh, I'm was very him? stressed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You had pr- uh, words for him with that behavior. I was yeah. like, you're going to bed. Take the monocle off. Uh, so, yeah, 100%. Uh, I uh, am in step with you guys. Um, like I said last week, the color is there. The main storylines, while they are, while it is annoying, it's yummy. There's plenty of stuff to chew on. And the arc is ending. 
right at the point where I think we've had enough, and sure, this will bubble up, and you know, I think it'd be a good bet. I mean, you'd probably have to have uh, plus odds on this, but I think Dave and Natasha will probably hook up again. A hundred percent over the course, and he of, should tell her um, get lost, and he won't. <laughs> no, he will not, um, because he's a pigeon, and we'll talk about that. But um, they've just nailed the casting. The Commedia dell'Andy is singing. We have. Two below deck franchises that are cast perfectly. Sailing yacht, the cast is flawless. It's singing. It's a family, and this every bit player is just firing all oh, cylinders. Oh, yeah. Storm and Z, that's a great friendship. Indiana J had a couple moments tonight. Natalia and Kyle are phenomenal. Tosh and Dave, exhausting, but it's going to take a break. Captain Sandy on the up and up. I mean, have we had a better stretch of four episodes to start this season out? 100 pots. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. I love it. I love it. Quick uh, errors, omissions, and clarifications. Yeah. The, that's the... Uh, the the segment has been yeah, expanded right. just like Mario Kart 8. Just yes. today, four, eight new tracks. I don't know if you guys have No it. shit. Yeah, it was really exciting. And then they also changed Coconut Mall. It's, it was a really wild day. Um, Coconut Mall is hectic. I, I could welcome some change into Coconut Mall, it, it, actually. Oh, it's, it's more hectic. The cars, oh, okay. the cars move. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, duality. Uh, an instance of opposition or contrast between two concepts or two aspects of something. Oh, it's not a Slipknot song? <laughs> no, it, it, don't it, do that. It, it, that's the duality of duality. It's a Slipknot song, and it means what I just read. Right, so Pat didn't do it right. Good. Bravo PR. I'm speaking to you directly. I've reached out twice in the last week. Uh, you've denied guess? me. Uh, excuse me, please. You've denied my guest request two times in a row and then pushed me off with some bullshit. Uh, this is a warning to you, and I know it will get back to you. Uh, you have... One solid week to uh, deliver a guest. I'd prefer Kyle or Natalia. Yeah. Uh, if we do not and you do not meet my demands, we will once again be, go be going rogue. And right. we know how much you hate that. Yeah, because Bravo, listen to us. We, believe it or not, can go, you know, one of two ways. We can make this this kind of Robert Frost thing going on. Dare I say a duality within this podcast. We can either... Cover your show with a little temperament and reel it back a little bit. Or we can just slaughter this thing and not help your show grow. I, You know, I sound like an egomaniac right now. And also, that was kind of convoluted. But can we just get the fucking guest? Please! I mean, help us help, us help Jesus you. Jesus fucking Christ. God damn it. The can fans want to hear it. And they don't want to hear them talk to your fucking in-network stupid shows. They ask them boring fucking questions. Fuck you, Bravo. God damn it. Wow, Dylan's really wound up. Well, it pisses me off when they're like, oh, you know, we'll wait a couple weeks and then we'll get them on. No, you won't. You know what? Put me on an email, Pat. Okay. Put me on an email. Okay. I think it's time. All right. Can we get to the show now? I need to call. You know, it's your fault. I've, you did the hold on thing. I was ready to go and I am too hot and I apologize, Bravo. I, I've actually uh, went a little rogue already. Me and Kyle have been chatting. I just keep telling him how funny him and Natalia are. And he's like, you should have us on together. And I'm like, we would love nothing more. He's like, I'll try to make that happen. You, so we're attacking from all sides. I love that. While he's finding his notes, quick little Bravo PR. They're really starting to try and strangle the talent. Heather McDonald booked a housewife. She bitched about it on a podcast today. Did an entire interview. Took up a half a day of her time. She's about to post it. The housewife calls her, says, you can't do it. I spoke with Bravo. They said, no, go. Wasted an entire day in an interview. How dare you, Bravo? <sighs> all right, let's get into it. Is it really hot in here? No, I, it's fine. It's room temperature. It's probably me. Just I just got so heated up about Bravo. I'm sweating. So we begin where we last left off. Sandy was sitting down with Ray Gun, and we were waiting with bated breath um, to find out what was going to happen. Sandy says, I can tell you haven't worked a boat this size and a boat this busy before, to which Ray Gun replies, um, I said, fight or I, and I... Um, I say fight or I fight or I. <laughs> I and, and I thought that was fire. and I thought that was pretty poetic of Reagan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, it was some some beautiful parting words and something we can all take with us and try to live by. Throw yeah. the rope. Yeah, I, actually, I was going to have them written out. You know how you put it on your wall, like uh, like daily affirmations or yes, something? Like yes. So I can walk in and hear that or just see it and go, yeah. <laughs> fight around, fight around. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, Sometimes you know, I cry when I think so about it. Man. This was interesting because Sandy explains yeah. uh, how uh, Ray Gun sucks and could possibly kill everyone if she stays. Uh, Go but Trey she, made us, Trey made us. <laughs> you mean inches? <laughs> what are you talking about? 
Sorry, Pat. That's okay. But she's going to give her a solid recommendation. <laughs> yeah. Which is odd. Uh, well, it's odd because are we forgetting there's TV cameras here and a couple million people watching Ray Gunn's performance over four episodes sucking down Siggy's and napping while her team is in utter chaos right. under her uh, failed leadership. Well, um, like we thought, she's gonna, she is terminated. Um, I guess this is a moment where Sandy just adds another notch to her redemption belt. I thought she handled this really, really well. Solid. Uh, had remorse for her, but not too much. She's got a job to do. Sandy is coming into her own. It's only taken seven seasons. Mm -hmm. I think she's just... Uh, Light bloomers. It's ironic that I felt like she was nowhere near qualified to tour and give speeches to corporations about right. leadership. But right. because maybe she studied so hard, she's actually improved because of that. Because yes. I also th thought she's handled some of the altercations today quite well. She's the next Teal Swan. Well, Teal Swan got people to commit suicide, right? Oh, is that right? Weren't people like, hey, Teal, I don't know why I'm here. And she's like, well, why are you here? Have you ever thought about why you are here and maybe if you should be here? Well, then she, you know, she did the right thing. She said, let's bring you out back with a pool and we'll have three people dunk you under the water. That will solve you some problems. Oh, was that what she was doing? Yeah, she it was, was some doing faux, faux baptism. Bullshit. She's uh, separating the wheat from the chaff. Uh, all right. So, uh, see you, Ray Gun. Then we have the uh, suitcase version of the walk of shame. It's always so sad. Yeah. Give these people more than an hour. You have one hour to exit the boat. Well, I mean, chop, chop. We got work to do. So, Stormy just Natasha. Know, yeah. Just know, whenever you're in Majorca and over the hill, you, you see a, a, a flu, what do you call it? A ploof? A plume? A plume? A plume. plume? A plume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A plume of smoke. That's Ray Gun. Oh. Fight arrive, fight arrive. All right. So, um, <laughs> Natasha and my Storm head down, and she says, she's shy me. And Storm goes, what? <laughs> but if there weren't subtitles we all would have said what <laughs> eventually she does communicate uh <laughs> in some kind of um version of the english language that she has been fired storm in a fucking fantastic moment uh has her suitcase in his hand and when he's he's told that she's getting fired he goes oh no and then just kind of moves <laughs> the suitcase, <laughs> closes it to her door. Um, Indiana <laughs> Jay is having himself an episode too, like I said. Uh, he says, yeah, I, w I would be surprised if they said, Reagan, you're killing it. You remember that day where you missed an entire day because you were hungover? <laughs> we loved it. Uh, Promotion for you. Good for you, Andy. Uh, we've we've been covering Real Housewives of Beverly Hills on Patreon.com slash another podcast network. And oftentimes Gar have said Garcelle is like the voice of us on that show. Mm -hmm. And Jason's uh, blatant, mm -hmm. just matter of fact, Midwestern nature. He's like, yeah, they should be fired. And then later he's super creeped out by Dave's anxiety deck. He's like, yeah, I don't know. He's <laughs> yeah. fucking crying in there. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's crying to, uh, to his captain back there. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But Does we'll he know we're at work? <laughs> uh, all right. So Kyle and Natalia to continue to be incredible uh but he's a little cutthroat um he says uh it's charter three you know it's time to see if it's the leader or the team that's mm -hmm. failing that's the prescient info mm -hmm. all right lord of the flies take yeah, it easy yeah, yeah. um hey, but I, I will say this about ray gun because we've seen a lot of people get fired especially under uh, captain sandy's watch uh because she said uh, it doesn't read resumes uh ray gun kept it classy I'm going to say she totally uh, it takes a lot in a moment, especially I think the, the cameras also add a lot of pressure to kind of a tendency to defend your bullshit uh, uh, miscomings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a, yeah. A, yeah. 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 A couple a couple times she did try to make excuses. But but in this moment, like, I don't think she had any delusions. She was good at her job. Right. She, she was like, I'm lucky I lasted this far. Got a couple nights out. They should have let her go out on that last oh, night. Yeah. She got up on uh, count eight and swung one more time she said um now i know that i have to get the water toys out something <laughs> like that but she she gave up like halfway through yeah, the sentence yeah. she, she knew it was she time. ran out of energy. um so next up we've got one of the cringier dave moments of the season thus far uh tosh quote unquote burns her eye in the dishwasher um kind of like dave smashing his knuckles in the cabinet last week oh he goes into overdrive and there's almost nothing more unattractive than this kind of creepy doting. Um, but I haven't set the scene all that well. Uh, the smoke goes into her eye. He just, you know, red alarm, red alarm, starts getting ice, follows her into the bathroom, forces her to put it on her face for a minute, watches her do it for 35 seconds, and then 
you just it makes your skin crawl. You're like, dude, leave her alone. He's obsessed with her though, Dylan, and we'll get into that uh, in I guess in a second. Or actually, why not here? Is this when I think we cut to an OTF of her? Or, or sorry, like uh, what do you, what do we call those things? Basically. OTFs, talking heads. Okay, Natasha lets us know it used to be fun, but now she feels like he's suffocating her. Yeah, which we can all see. The he, ick. Here's the, the ick. Here's yeah. the math. He's insecure because you got with him. Uh, after some infidelity or during, right? Now he's insecure and it comes off as weakness and now he's annoying and now you're not into him anymore because of those both both of those things. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to get into it with the whole bar thing and then the text thing and he couldn't stop himself. I've been on both sides of this as I think most people have, probably not Dylan because Dylan hasn't had a lot of relationships. I have been on both sides of this. You have, yeah, okay. I have been. Uh, I think... It was weird when he started calling her a slut. That's where he crossed the line. But everything up until then was just a love sick dope. Uh, you just, uh, just a guy. annoying, very annoying, annoying. Yeah. But she's gaslighting him because she's not giving him anything to work with. We're, he's, he's confused. We're gonna talk about it later. But I, yeah, when she tells Sandy, she's like, you know, I just started to not be into it. It's like, well, then, you know, say tell that. him, that. tell him, communicate to him, but. She is communicating rather loudly with her ick. I mean, he icks all over her, you know? And if you're not a lovesick dope, you can see it and you back off. Maybe try to, you know, flank and come back later, but definitely don't smother. The man is a lovesick dope. It's hard to watch. Makes my skin hurt. I thought it was interesting because I haven't seen reality TV where you had real, like with uh, like housewives or things like this, uh, you don't see relationships where people are actually in an authentic way, their hearts being broken. And then her not, to not have the uh, ability, emotional ability to just be honest to herself and to Dave. Yes, she's, she's uh, very uh, immature that yeah, way. Yeah, she's a bit of a sociopath, but uh, we'll get there. So Storm is called up to be promoted all the while um, Kyle is being demoted. Uh, Natalia pins a label that says third stew on him and they just continue to be fucking amazing. <laughs> They're fun. Amazing. So prop um, comedy uh, continues as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's not and just not improv. To it up. Uh, so let's head to the main salon for a little debrief with cap. Uh, Ray gun is fired and a new deck hand is coming aboard. Do we have any reality sh- uh, shithead Steve spoilers or anything like that? Do we know? Oh, I know it is. Be? I All right. We're going to, we're going we're gonna to bleep it. Yeah, because I don't know. I want to know. Just scrub uh, 15 seconds. Yeah, just scrub 15 seconds. And so we're going to say it right now. So if you don't want to hear it, hit the scrub now. She's going to be a decky? That's what I heard. I think I heard that uh, it was going to be a stew that's going to be a decky too. So that interesting. Yes, this meeting is uh, very matter of fact. Uh, they, She tells them that the person that's not in the room doesn't work there anymore and that somebody else come on. So, uh, more Dave and Tosh. He's scared to confront her because he's scared to lose her. What? These are the just insane things that uh, people in love say. You know, I, I'm or very... Or people f- who are obsessed. He's not in love. He's There's just gonna, obsessed. Uh, he's obsessed. There's going to be a little bit of uh, Patty talk in here uh, throughout the episode, just because I'm fascinated by this and I've experienced it. He's such a needy Nelly here. Uh, hang I, on a second. What, what would differentiate... Like, uh, like my personal experience, not me just cracking wise uh, about the show, like sharing oh. some personal stories. Okay. It's, it's really it's really moving him. He's, he's putting himself in Dave's my shoes. My first right. relationship when I was 15 years old was the Natasha Dave thing. Yeah. She like was totally into me. We were in a I boat lost my virginity, in and then she proceeded to bang half the football team and lie to me about it, and I was gaslit, and it was the most miserable sophomore year of high school any person ever had in their life, unless someone lost a parent or something. But other than that, it was really bad. I was anxi- anxiety-ridden. I was, the, I was uh, laughed at by classmates that knew that I would not accept the fact that the girl I was calling my girlfriend was, in fact, cheating on me. Right. It was a horrible experience, and I wish she just said, Pat, I'm not into you anymore. And then I could have moved on and enjoyed the rest of my high school experience. It's just insane. You know, I want to apologize to the audience. I just turned the AC off, which was very loud and humming if you heard that. And then right when I turn it off, War with China, fucking plane comes right overhead. It's uh, we can't. Better than last night's recording session. We had a helicopter flying over a house looking for one of those uh, people that stole a car for two hours. Yeah. Don't find tree coverage and leave everybody alone. Okay. Don't. Mm -hmm. It's an inconvenience, okay? Um, so uh, Dave is going to be absolutely devastated when he finds out Natasha fucked uh, Pat's high school entire football team. Yeah, yeah. 
That how did you to, find them? It's it, just there's a lot of questions, but either way, Dave is going to be crushed. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I was like this to my wife when we first started dating. I smothered. You fucked the entire. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. stop. No, no, cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Uh, but I, I smothered her, and because of it, she broke up with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took some time off. I went to New Orleans. So go to college. Sewed my oats. Waste your parents' money. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> But I have He's been getting a, subtext. I have been on the other side of this. I, I started dating a, a a lady or or hooking up, and uh, it was like day three after we'd uh, you know coitled or whatever. And she was like, <laughs> "Let's go to the grocery store. I want to I want to buy you groceries." And I was like, "What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck?" And she was like going down all the aisles, and buying all this stuff for me. It was a little weirded out, and it started to, you know get more and more and more. And then eventually, it came to a head where I was watching Bruno in the theater, and uh, she texted me, you know, maybe we should just. Uh, Maybe we should just stop. I think I've told the story before. Yeah. Uh, she 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 bluffed. She said, uh, maybe we should just end this, thinking that I would fight. And I just said, I think it's a perfect idea. And then we never spoke again. <laughs> I'm in a movie. Talk later. Never spoke yeah. again. <laughs> never spoke again. There's no later. <laughs> no, never spoke again. Oh. Uh, I think I'm going to have to see her at a wedding coming up. Um, she was my wife's roommate, too. So that was a little messy. Oh, weird. Uh, uh, yeah. I rented uh, Bruno off Redbox one time, and I, I lost it in my room, and I paid twenty seven ninety nine. Twenty seven ninety nine, huh? Yeah. It's if just you, like buying a DVD. Yeah, you lose a movie in uh, 1995, Blockbuster? Yeah. $100. If it was a... not <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, if, yeah. Because there was always a period that, that after theaters, during rentals, before purchase, where you could read a book, at, and it would say, like... Two hundred seventy nine ninety nine for the newest releases. Mm -hmm. I was always so scared of losing. One. You know, we we uh, I recapped the trip to Colorado on Patreon. Um, whitewater rafting stuff like that, very dangerous. I don't know why I did it, but uh, this creepy house that we stayed in had hundreds and hundreds of VHSs, oh, yeah. and it sent me right back to the nineties. It was so nostalgic. I was like, we got to pop one of these in, but we didn't. So, anyways, oh. let's move on to we more. We did, Dave and, and then we had to rewind. Right, exactly. So, uh, oh, the the Lawrence of Arabia VHS. I mean the the stack of tape in that well, thing. No, it's it so come in twos. No, it didn't come in two. It was wild because the Godfather set is in two, but Lawrence of Arabia for some reason was just one. Uh, all right, so more Dave and Ta uh, Taj talking. I'm so sorry about all of this. I'm <laughs> just so, one. so sorry. He's like I said, he's scared to confront her because he's scared to lose her. Cut to four texts. Can we talk? Taj ellipses. I can't do this. Put the phone down, you fucking maniac. Bake some bread or something. Stop doing this. Um, let's get to the night out, but before we do, let's take a quick break to talk about Dame. It's sexy time. You know what time it is. Guys, this company... Uh, I mean, sell sex toys. They and sell stuff. sex toys and stuff. They sell uh, beautiful lubes. They sell the... Uh, uh, which is a vibrator that sucks. They have the Eva, which is for partners. Um, I mean, there's just nothing. There's uh, we we've waxed poetic about this company so many times. If I Dave mean, had used this on uh, Natasha, yes. they'd probably still be together. He would if he would have just said, "Tosh, here's the I." Eh. And here's a little bit of pH balanced to your vaginal wall lube. Mm -hmm. You do you. I'm gonna go make some bread. They would have just hit it off. She would have had the space, the pleasure, the zen, the hum, mm -hmm. the air. Go to Dame. Uh, do, is there a promo code? Go to dameproducts.com and use promo code below deck for 15% off your entire <clears throat> order. Um, let's get back to the show. And that's the show below deck med. Um, so the texting does not go well, um, uh, but we'll get to our night out and it will get worse and worse and worse for him. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kyle is powdering his nose all while Natalia tries to say the word inevitable in relation to her hooking up and or falling in love in two separate rooms with Storm. Uh, they sit down to dinner. Martini espressos are ordered and, uh, a pasta with swordfish in it. I, th I, I thought that was odd as well. Don't do that. That's not... That's not it, right? No. That's not that's not good to do. Don't fucking Why the fuck is that even on a menu? Sword pasta, swordfish. That's not it. I call, call it like um Excalibur. You got to you got to pull the sword out of the pasta. It's really, I don't know. Huh? I don't know. All what right, let's fuck? get to the night out but before I don't know. What? Wait, I already said that. So, um I think that Kyle calls Natalia third stew across the table. Hmm. 
and I'm a little bit, I, I hope I'm incorrect, but I'm a little bit concerned with this. Who said it? Kyle said it to Natalia. And I'm, if it's true, cut the shit. Okay. It's not your power to demote her. And also, do not imbue this friendship with your bloodthirsty competitiveness. Okay. The audience needs you two to keep it together. Keep it tight. Keep it classy. Let's keep this friendly. Okay. Uh, as often happens with uh, stars, we're not the only one that noticed. Like Kyle's obviously, he's, mm -hmm. he's a juggernaut on this show. Yes, uh, he's 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 Josiah 2.0. Uh, I think that's a microaggression, but we love him. Is the point? Mm -hmm. uh, but he's also doing interviews with other people. Uh, Bravo uh, somehow allowing that. And in oh, some really? interview with someone, I can't remember, and I wouldn't shout him out anyways if I knew where it was from. He said that there's a moment later in the season where darkness comes out of him. Uh, and he's not like proud of the moment. I'm yeah. still not sure what it is. Yeah. I actually thought when I heard it, I thought he was going to get all like aggro with Dave when he was texting Natasha, right. but it didn't happen. So now I'm wondering if him and Natalia get a little dark, but she also did the third stew. That's their banter. Uh, what, know, what, but but he, wait, he, it just he like, means it. Though. Yeah. Yeah. He means it. Yeah. She does not. Um, so I, I, can I do a meanwhile? No, mm. we move on to Dave and Tosh next. And at this point I am starting to really not want to do this anymore. He is a smotherer and pathetically fragile, and she is just a block of fucking ice. He tells her, we need to talk about this, and she just looks at him and goes, nah. You know, she yeah. said, she's- uh, That's what she said? She said, nah. The absurdity of all of this is that while they're at the dinner table eating swordfish with pasta, and making small talk about the workplace, which is always boring. Oh, our department kicks ass, blah, blah, blah. While they do that, we have a couple that's pretending not to be a couple appear to everyone that's sitting at the table to be, in fact, a couple that's having a spat. And so what are they trying to hide here? You know, this is one of those situations. Uh, what was that thing where they always say about Nixon, which was the cover up was actually worse, worse than, than the, the crime. crime? Yeah. If they just announced everybody day one, hey, by the way, we're fucking right what kind of sea rat judgment would come out of these people? I thought you were talking about Reagan. I, th I was like, you're confusing him with Bill Clinton. But no, you were talking about Nixon. David Natasha. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, David Natasha. Nixon. Nixon. I said Reagan. And then oh. I confused it even further. Oh. Let's go back. You were talking about Natasha and Dave. And if they just would have admitted to everybody, no one would have gave a shit. I always thought about that with Chandler and Monica and friends. It's like, why are we keeping it a secret? And it was like, oh, it was the, the sitcom line was, oh, complicate things. Uh, like that. No one gives a shit. Shut up. No, shut up. Shut up. So let's get to the club. Um, Z and Storm have a chat, but who cares? The, the real point of contention here happens at the line to the women's uh, loo. A lot of fights there. You can see women taking a dump in there, too. The door is fully open. It's like, come on, what? man. How are you talking space? about? The door was fully open. You could see women reapplying their makeup. You should have a. a, a well, you couldn't see them taking a dump. Though, oh, I'm pretty you? sure I saw one of them. I think. No, I don't think you did. Some toilet paper. No, I, I don't think you did. Lots of bars do that purpose on purpose, at least in the men's bathroom, so you don't take a dump in there. But I show them. I do it anyway. There was a club uh, down the street from here. It used to be called Clear. It was right uh, next to Laurel Tavern at one ender. Uh, their bathrooms uh, had clear doors. You could clearly see someone taking a piss or a dump in there. It what was a weird the concept. Fuck? It's super yeah. weird concept, especially like I was gonna joke that what they have clear stalls, and then he was like, oh, and then they had clear bat. Like that's that's crazy. That is so crazy. You know what else is crazy? Getting in a fight with your girlfriend or someone you're hooking up with and following them to the bathroom. Why does the conversation need to have uh, happen? in line to go to the back it's just like dude you are your up is down and your right is up it just doesn't make any he sense is, but dude. he wants answers now he's got a few pops in him he at least feels that they're away from the rest of the people that they know this is they can have a private moment except for being surrounded by 30 strangers taking a dump but uh, otherwise they can finally kind of work it out and she will not give him that You're scatologically uh preoccupied hmm. right now i think more importantly not only could they have some privacy she can't get away she has to pee and there's a long line he's a genius it's actually very logical well like yeah now that you th say that because i was thinking why don't you wait until you get back and you get in the bunk you know where the music's not bumping and where she's trapped you know <laughs> yeah he's then so she uses the guest room well, let right. me put you in dave's uh weak uh sick love mind he is hoping he can turn her back He's hoping he can say something to get her to just hug him and make out with him, and then everything will be happy. 
and that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. And I actually don't think they're going to get back together later in the season. Uh, oh, they'll bone though. I don't know. She's showing the, showing, showing the preview of her texting her ex. I believe this has been happening oh. the entire char- charter. This is not a spoiler. They show this yeah. uh, at the end of the episode. I believe it's been happening the whole time. That's why she's trying to separate from Dave. It's not my place to break down a woman, right? It's just not. But at the end of the, we see the tease for next week. She's texting the boyfriend that she cheated on trying to get him back. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you not be such a fucking sea rat and just calm down and not be so comp- uh, codependent on men and just take care of yourself because you're an ice queen and you don't treat people right and you need to do some work with yourself because there's a duality Mm. that isn't in balance okay the evil is taking over the good but we all know there is good i I was a cheating piece of shit look how good i turned out yeah i think natasha needs to just turn back into that fat squid (laughs) and return to the ocean because she's hurting people she's hurting people so um i don't know what to say about this dumb conversation she says we're not in a relationship and she also says i don't play games and (laughs) games to me (laughs) when i think of games that men and women play with one another it's exactly the kind of shit that natasha does the uh, blatant miscommunication, the cold shoulder, the ice queen horse shit. It's all fucking games. It's it, all games. Dave, if you wanted to back, and I'm pretty sure everybody that's on the show listens to our show, if you wanted to back, I know this is uh, you know Monday morning uh, quarterbacking, but you just say, hey, look, you're not going to lead me around like a fucking broken puppy anymore around this boat, and I will not be uh, flipping your tabby or uh, flicking your lid. No more. It's over. See ya. Smell you later. And then go make out with the first girl that's given a eyes at that gross club okay so let's let's monday morning quarterback this Mm -hmm. you would tell him to tell her i'm not gonna flick your lid anymore i'm not uh no i'm not or flip your or flip flip your your tabby tabby. and it's your tabby will no longer be licked nor flicked and that will get her back i will go no what's gonna get her back is you say smell you later and then go make out with the first girl that's giving you eyes at that gross what he should have done is said clearly this is not working i'm gonna move my stuff out of the room Mm -hmm. and then yes he should have started flirting with somebody at the bar and it would have been back on in a heart you guys are saying the same thing. yeah we're saying the same thing thing. but he told him to say that i'm not gonna flick your lid anymore and i just did you and not in so many words she's using his pogo stick for fun and uh, you know she's renting it she's not buying it hey uh one quick uh quick quick story and i'll keep brief and i won't talk about myself anymore <laughs> okay right hey, we, before, I, I don't care about talking about i'd rather talk about you i don't want to talk about dave and natasha no no no, 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 no we're no, gonna talk no, about Pat. yeah yeah let's talk about okay Pat. so get this one time hot and heavy we do have to uh, talk about this dave girl and Tasha a little, yeah. uh this girl uh we go hot and heavy for about two months she gets sick of me same story she had been cheating on her boyfriend with me and uh we go hot and heavy and then she's like <sighs> we were supposed to go to thanksgiving at her mom's house she doesn't even pick up the phone the day before so I'm texting, what's going on? What's going on? She's like, at the end of the day, she's like, why did you text me so much? And I'm like, well, I didn't know if something happened to you. I'm supposed to go to Thanksgiving tomorrow. She's gaslighting me. She's like, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm not, ha- I'm not feeling it. She was kind of honest or whatever. So you know what I did? All right. I was depressed for a couple of days. I hung oh, out I with Spot. I, 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 I thought you were going to say you went to Thanksgiving. That would have been awesome. Awesome. No, but I wanted to go. <laughs> but I just hung out with Spot. You know, we watched some movies. I think I just got an iPhone at that point. I was learning that I could uh, watch uh, old uh, music videos and stuff on that thing. Oh, that sounds super sad. It's Three so days sad. later, and then I see her at, at work. Uh, true confession, she worked for me. I completely ignored her. Said, "Hey, you know, this isn't going to be a thing. Don't worry about it." It took one week. She cozies up to me while I'm at work, walks up to me, says, I'm kind of missing you right now. And yeah. I was like, yeah, whatever. Next thing you know, of course, we're rolling around in the hay. You should have picked up Where that was the iPhone and watched more Slayer. Oh, it's an yeah. old person's expression. All right. So um, I um, we, I don't want to talk about them either, but we do we have, have to. to wrap this up. He says, I, <sighs> he goes out and he tells Storm, I, I think I just lost the greatest thing to ever happen to me. What are you on The Bachelor? Shut up. (laughs) Stop talking like this. Why are you using these words? Um, So Natasha had some, and this is when the fun begins. Kyle's uh, shaking that ass and um, kidding. This actually isn't fun at all. Dave gets blacked out and begins firing up those overwhelming creepy texts again. Um, I would say take the phone away from him. 
But he needs like a brain transplant right now. Removing the phone is not going to solve the situation. Um, but we have to get to the bands. And the cherry on top of Storm's great day. He got a good tip. The charter's over. He got a promotion that he completely forgot about. And he got to kiss Natalia. We ship them. And she, uh, part of the crash. She's, she's won the race between Natalia and Natasha in my book. Oh I mean, yeah. Nat- yeah. That dress she had on tonight. Yeah. Oh, she's, a, she's absolutely, she's absolutely gorgeous. I like how she's kind of nerdy too. Yeah. She's, she's so Funny. gorgeous. She's so down to earth and she's not fucking mean like Natasha no. is my God. So they get back to the boat and that is when Dave begins to enter his final form uh, of like super Saiyan pathetic. Uh, he vaguely and melodramatically mopes to the crew while he's like walking away from them. You know that move where you're like, she's just never going to talk to me. Yeah. You're like, what did, what did he say? What the fuck is he saying? Yeah. Just it's paid. over. It's never going to be the same. What is he talking about? What is about? he talking about? I'm trying to eat a fucking grilled cheese right now. I'm um, poison your food. <laughs> <laughs> what did he just... <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> um, but uh, he then calls her a slut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he uh, he wishes her good luck. Yeah. Which is the only nice thing he's, he really said. Yeah. Yeah. More duality. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And really we're, not, we're not condoning someone calling a girl a slut. Uh, it's wrong, obviously. What? Well, no, just because we laughed about it. I want the female listeners to think we think it's hilarious that he called oh, her no, a slut. Oh, no, no, no. We don't find that funny at all. And I actually think uh, when he said good luck, he was using it more in the way like Liam Neeson did when, right. uh, when he uh, got finally got a hold of those guys on yeah. the phone and he repeated back what they said when they took his daughter. I'm a serious set of skills. Yeah, well, Dude, the, Liam Neeson he's a good luck is what I'm talking about. But yeah, he did uh, that one and it's great. Great speech. Iconic. Liam Neeson was being sarcastic. Yeah. In that moment, he was being sarcastic. I think, I think he, he would actually, all things considered would wish them the worst of luck. Yeah. The worst of luck. Um, They turned his his daughter into an opiate riddled (laughs) sex. Yeah. Okay. So um, my favorite mean girl, Kyle walks in to see what's up with Tosh and she tells him, you're never going to believe this. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> this was pretty manipulative. But me and Dave was hooking up, and Kyle almost flips his lid. Um, it's an M. Night Shyamalan Man type twist. It, God, these two are so fucking annoying that they think they have something to reveal to their coworkers. Every time they tell someone, they're like, uh, it happens with Storm, it happens with Kyle. They're like, well, yeah, I think you know what we knew. Kyle, <laughs> Kyle knows a little eyes. something about non-shocking reveals. Right. <laughs> I also love how Dave threatened uh, Tosh that he was going to tell, like he went into the blackmail phase. You don't, you don't need to do anything, Dave. You have Storm. Storm will do your work for well, you. But also, that's not, like, that's not leverage. Like, I'm going to tell... I'm going to tell everybody that you're the one that took the extra cookie at dinner. (laughs) It's not, it's a bad analogy, but nobody cares. cares. Um, So she then says that he called her every name under the sun, really just one, but it was very uncouth. And then says, you wouldn't treat your own worst enemy like this. I would surmise that Natasha is not very well practiced in the art of war. If you think that worst enemies aren't treated this way worst enemies you know throughout history and even in modern day are often brutally murdered and yeah. tortured sometimes their entire families yeah. are laid to waste and and you know on k street and wall street financial ruin yeah, you broke his heart and he lost his mind and called you a slut it's a little different maybe maybe he meant uh natasha wouldn't fuck her own worst enemies mm. okay so well i hope kyle watching this footage back going oh boy i was roped into little something that wasn't I it didn't grow to the to the uh, the gravity of the situation that it was made to be you know they're all buddying up watching netflix movies all night like i got your back yeah we, he could be i think he's kind of harmless i i hope it's the last time he texts a girlfriend calling her a slut over uh, yeah, the phone. yeah. Well, don't call people don't call girls sluts. I, i've never done it i've said me some pretty either. mean stuff yeah me too unless they ask you to Right, and unless it's like a kinky type of thing, but that's you know that's between hey, you guys. One little note that I don't think you guys caught, but it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, production uh, tactic. God, that'd be quite so a bit funny if I called my wife a slut while we were making love. She'd be like, "What? what? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Did you just call me?" You're a little slut, aren't you? <laughs> Get the fuck off of me. Go sleep at your mother's. Go <laughs> sleep on the fucking couch. What kind of porn are you watching, weirdo? <laughs> Seek treatment. Hey, uh, one little uh, production note is. Uh, Someone had to give production Natasha's phone to get all these texts. Yeah. 
They don't have like a, unless I, there's a technology, I don't know, that exists out there that pulls information into like a Bravo computer where they can put the chirons up about what this insane person might saying be part of the, the contract. Yeah. Give us your phone. Or don't disagree, like how they can't, they can never talk to us about editing or whatever. Like we're going to put up whatever we want. So Dave reveals to Storm that he and her have been hooking up for months, to which Storm says, I gathered. Uh, but let's get to the next morning. And before we do, let's talk about Magic Mind. Magic Mind is a once daily anti procrastination elixir. Nick, what does it have inside of it? 12 natural ingredients. One is ashwagandha, and there are 11 others. Yeah, and another one's matcha and 10 others. And you can get it by going to magicmind.co and entering in promo code SANDY, and you'll get 25% off your order. But more importantly, you'll be beating out every other set of fans that we have pitted out uh, against each other. Be the winners of this competition and be a winner at life. When you drink Magic Mind, you'll hum through your day. You just will. It's big facts. It's no cap. Have you thought you're too reliant on coffee? Uh, well, this is, it can be drank in conjunction with your coffee. It's a once daily one and a half ounce shot, but it can also uh, help you wean off coffee rather than going cold turkey. It's 30 milligrams of caffeine. doesn't sound like a lot, but it's going to give you a nice focused Zen hum because of the alchemy of those uh, previously mentioned 12 natural ingredients. Magicmind.co. Enter in promo code Sandy for 25% off. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Pat, how important is it to take care of your mind? Oh, it's super important. It's your most, I guess, important part of your body. It's not your fingers. It's not your uh, toes. It's your it's your brain. Yeah, and how do you um, take care of yourself? Well, I use BetterHelp. You know, you you that's the best way to take care of yourself. But you can yog and you can do yoga and stuff like that. But if you are really struggling with anxiety or depression or you are a little bit rudderless in life, we really, really recommend Better Help. Better Help is online therapy that offers video phone and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anybody on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Now, in my opinion, this is the biggest selling point of Better Help. If you try to go through traditional insurance or you know, even out of pocket, it'll oh, be crazy. really expensive and it'll take a long time to find somebody to talk. And that is honestly a deterrent to mental well-being in itself. Do you know how I even got signed up for this? Obviously, they were advertisers, but I was like, you know, I, I'm pretty, my mental uh, state is pretty well, but you know, the zombies surrounding my neighborhood were pissing me uh, off so much. Yeah. So I got so upset one day, I started Googling flamethrowers. Yeah. I was actually contemplating going down and uh, but using That's why you go to well, better help. I, I, and it took less than 48 hours, and I talked with a therapist within 48 hours and they talks me off the ledge and thank God because now I get to podcast and I'm not incarcerated for uh, using a flamethrower. Right, right, right. Yeah. Would have helped Los Angeles. Yeah, so uh, go to betterhelp.com. Our listeners will get 10% off. The first month at betterhelp.com slash below deck. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash below deck. Let's get back to the show. Right about yeah next morning next morning oh my gosh you know that pit in your stomach right guys oh yeah also uh that it, it, it also with memory loss mm. don't I know am, what i did last night i am so happy that you brought this up because if we didn't have that scene with storm i don't think this would be as categorically horse shit mm -hmm. as it was but when he's talking to storm he's very coherent He's not that drunk. He probably, you know, he was up there in BAC, but there's no way he was blacked out. I don't understand the lie. Like, why do you think Plausible that, deniability. But do you think that makes the situation any better? A lot of people fall on the, oh, I blacked out. What did I do last night, man? Was it crazy? What's it crazy? There's a fucking arm under your wheel well. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I was blacked out. Something yeah, there's an arm under your wheel well. You probably killed a guy. Some people put on, but I time travel. I black out right. and I function and I'm talking to people and I am not there. So mm. I don't, I don't know. Like I, 
Who there was someone that but was using this last season? Uh, yeah, there's like a deadness behind the eyes. Yeah, tell what someone yeah. really is. I think he might have had it. I don't know. He seems to be a problem drinker. He did it to Jason. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. But there's someone last season who was definitely using that just over, uh, over and over and over. I don't know. Oh Man. yeah, who was it? Uh, and I didn't buy it as much, but I can't remember who it was, so it doesn't really help the point. Oh, you know who it was? It was uh, was it that girl who was it Ashley or was it the the first one who hooked up with Gary? The lizard. Uh, the oh, yes. Floridian? Yes, yes. The one whose dad is going to jump off his office building. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, eat Nash. Eat Nash. Eat Nash. Uh, yeah, eat she Nash. would always say she was blacked out. This is taking too much time. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Five, but good, I wanted to find Good it. recall. Uh, so, meanwhile. Meanwhile. Jason is uh, pro Storm and Natalia. Storm forgot that he had to be a bosun. Don't say that. Don't. Mm. Don't say that. And Natalia tries to cheer Tosh up. There's a quick shot of a sriracha bottle on the table. My God, were those the days when we weren't in a shortage. You could get the stuff. Trader Joe's sriracha is just not the same. And don't tell me to use sambal. It's not the fucking same thing, okay? Uh, all right, so Kyle speaks of his deal breakers uh, in a partner hawking loogies and evidently also being interested in chicks is a pretty big deterrent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, he and Natalia have a fun chat. Veggies grow out of shit and whatnot. But I'm sure you guys caught this. Our dear Kyle incorrectly calls asses assholes. Just like our dear oh, Pat. Oh, did he? Did you see that? I did. I did. He listened to smack you in the asshole. The show. That's a, he, that's a little t- wink and a nod to old Patty here. It has to be. Hey, yeah. see, uh, hey not, it could be nothing else. I'll ask him when we interview him. Right, Bravo? Uh, let's get to the panic attack. Dave begins hyperventilating. Um, I actually kind of felt bad for him. Yeah. I, you know, I don't want to be all like, get off your ass and compete for the gold, Simone. But... <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> this is just fucking embarrassing. Yeah, you, you got, um, I do. It's it's sad. Like I had my heart broken. And it made me tougher and stronger, and also isolated and closed off uh, at at the year of sixteen years of age. Right. I would never let a woman hurt me again like that. Again right. After, right. After after her. God damn it! This made me so sad. It's, it's so just sad. like I. Oh God! You're fucking pathetic. <laughs> I'm gonna choose to just uh, not acknowledge all the uh, any time I may have ever been like this, and just tell him to man up. Man you got up, a job bro. to do. Figure it out. Yeah, you got a menu to put together, dude. You got a menu to put together. You got people coming aboard. Um, and you know they're women with exquisite taste. They want Z to take his clothes off and slam his uh, his genitals in their face while they eat dinner. So you got a job to do. Okay. How crazy is it? We got an entire episode without any guests. No uh, guests. And and ne'er even a preference sheet meeting was, so we still have more time without guests on the next episode yeah that's true so kyle hears him having a panic attack over that slut that he's in love with and goes <laughs> and gets sandy a safe move it's protocol but it's also great producing on the fly oh yeah uh welcome to the ninth circle of embarrassment your boss is going to come down to dry <laughs> your tears uh all joking aside you know we talked about it at the top of the show she's so unbelievably sweet to him yep she's so motherly and and comforting and she really really helps him yeah she's I a sober that. person yeah they believe in she forgiveness. Was, and i actually felt like it was coming from a, a real place too with her i know the cameras are there i, I want to go to one of her seminars Sandy, you might uh, three tickets might be bought at your next uh, seminar. I want to go to one of her DJ sets. So Indiana J spreads the word. Um, like we mentioned, he's like, I turn around and Dave's fucking crying to Captain Sandy. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> so she and Dave head out to the dock and have a little chat. Um, and Sandy calls Natasha up next. Kudos to Natasha because she could have easily gotten Dave fired. Yep immediately she kind of owns it for the first time like this is my fault i don't know if a little bit of an unreliable narrator because the, you know it, it's she's not, not practical for her to go into detail and own the fact that she was kind of she turned into a cat pawing at a sea rat mm-hmm. and she's supposed to be a sea rat right you know mm-hmm. um but she could have easily said that she didn't feel safe because i wouldn't blame her if she didn't feel safe and she could have uh told sandy that he called her a slut and that would have been Probably done. That would have been it for him. Mm-hmm. So big of you, Tosh. And he'd be up there in the uh, in the annals of other gross pigs that have uh, gotten fired from this. With, oh, you want my meat? You know, he, he didn't get. You fired. don't want to be Adrian. Oh, Adrian didn't get fired. No, he just. Oh, what are you looking at down there? You're looking at my meat. He just, he just. 
categorically creep people out, but he, yeah. he kept his job. Well, you know, uh, I've been I've been trying to see who's the sixty and who's the forty, and I think we know now that uh, despite how icy she was, it I think it was mostly Dave. Hmm. I see fifty fifty. You think fifty fifty? Yeah. Like, like so, she took this strategy of kind of ghosting and trying to not show any affection, and that was kind of working. He uh, he went through his spiral on the first night out. And then the next day, she fucked him in the shower, right? Which then just restarted the cycle. Yes. She, it, it could have bled out like a, a, a little bit, yeah. But then great she point. did it again. Yeah, she was playing games. Yeah, she was pawing with a sea rat when yeah. she's a sea rat herself. She's a sea rat. Well, I think I'm really excited to see what, how this all works out with them having to work together for, I guess, what 18 more episodes. Yeah. Uh, so he is called up. He's told that if it happens again, he is fired. And Sandy kind of clues us in on what it's like managing sea rats. You know, she says you got to let them scurry and scratch. And, you know, if, um, you know, sometimes you just got to intervene though. Sometimes, uh, they're bleeding and you, they, you know, they're guests. Yeah, yeah. We can't have that. So let's get to Dave and Tosh having a chat. She is kind, but also there's still a bit of ice to her. She says that she's never seen this Dave before. Well, you think it's because you fucking tortured him a little bit. Um, but. That wraps up the episode. Next week looks like a lot of fun. Uh, once again, they're going to hit another dolphin. And Tosh is going to try to get back in the good graces of the man that she cheated on. <laughs> um, just, you know, chill on the love addiction and take care of yourself, boo-boo. Uh, we love this season. We love you guys for listening. Jump in the iTunes ratings and reviews. And join us on Patreon and on the YouTubies and on the Facebookies. Uh, we'll see you next week. I'm Dylan saying goodbye. Nick say goodbye. Bon voyage. Pat say goodbye. Later, dudes. Bye.